Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. Virgo. Virgo. Okay, before we do your reading, Virgo, let's pull a Moonology Oracle card for you. Let's see what parrot, what, what parrot, let's see what the parrot picks. <laughs> let's see what spirit picks for you. Not parrot. <laughs> right, parrot? <laughs> let's go, Virgo. Damn. Virgo, let's give him a cut. Let's see what we got, Germans. A fiery climax approaches. So there's a full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. Well, full moon in Aries. Let's go to the book. Let's find out just what that means. It is on page 68, 68, 68. Here we go. And in order to read it, I gotta get me magic wand. Fiery climax approaches full moon and Aries. It's time to see if you've been a little bit too much. Me, me, me. Hmm. That's kind of rude. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, if you've gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level you've created the situation yourself. Jesus. Now you know what? Sure's readings are brutal sometimes, but damn. Which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. So what it's saying is be nice, be kind, smile and be polite as you navigate to where you want to be. Being assertive is good, just don't ride roughshod over anyone. If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. And don't be a baby. Sorry, but this could be the issue. You need to have more fun. Wow. Holy crap, Virgo. Well, I, I think the Moonology Oracle card just told you, told you off. Damn! Now you know what? That's that's harsh. That's that's what you call in your face. Oh, Virgo. So let's let's pretend we didn't read that. We're gonna go to the Hermetic Tarot, the black and white. We're gonna find out, Virgo, what we've got for you. Jeez, now I'll try not to be as brutal. There's a Moonology Oracle card. Damn. Okay. Gee. Right, Parrot? Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Virgo, come on now. Let's go. I have the Eight of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords working towards some kind of truth. Working on some kind of truth, working towards some kind of truth. Telling yourself some kind of truth. And with the Six of Swords following along, packing up my Six of Swords, jumping in my RB, I'm getting a hell out of Dodge. Working on telling myself some kind of truth. And now that I know the truth, it's time to pack up my little TV, my camper stove, and get the hell out of Dodge. Let's keep going. Going to some calmer waters. Oh, well, okay, so, jeez, okay, so with the Ace of Cups and, and the uh, Hanged Man in the Reverse, 
Mm, Virgo. So what I'm kind of seeing here is that you you really didn't. Um, well, the hanging man is taking a good look, taking a second look, a third look, maybe even a fourth sometimes. And looking at this Ace of Cups, but it showed that you didn't really look at this love. Ace of Cups is love in the reverse. This is definitely past love, but also in the reverse, the hanging man. You didn't really give this love a lot of thought. So what happens when you don't give love a lot of thought? And why, why do we normally not give love a lot of thought? Do we, like, are we hungry for love? Did we jump into a love situation? Or what we thought might be a love situation, but it ended up, well, getting the hell out of Dodge. It ended up telling ourselves truths that, uh, you know, I, I should have looked before I leap. So this is kind of what I got with love in the reverse and the hanging man in the reverse is a look before I leaped. I didn't look before I leaped. I just uh, trusted my instinct or what I thought was my instincts. I trusted my heart and I took the jump. With the devil coming out here and the four of swords in the reverse. Having a hard time, having a hard time, Virgo, with healing, with the Four of Swords reversed and the devil. Addictions, addictions, um, could be addictions to anything, could be codependent, could be feeling. <laughs> Is it like a, a one-sided soulmate connection? I feel that they're a great soulmate. You know that a devil comes as an angel of light, right? And I, I think what you saw was the angel of light. I think because with the foolish, or with the hanging man in the reverse, is that you didn't look deep enough. And you kind of took a leap. You didn't look deep enough to see the devil. Oh, God love you, darling. You just saw the light. So with the devil here, now feeling uh, really hard to, really hard to heal. Having a hard time healing. Feeling chained. Feeling bound. So you could be dealing with a Pisces here. There's a mass of Pisces. This is somebody. I hope you know what I'm a Pisces, and I pray that Pisces didn't do this to you. But you know, we're not all spiritual. Not all of us. Some of us are are ready for another step up, and some are still very much learning. But with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. It can only tell me that with a release of ego, but not just a release of ego, Virgo, what I'm seeing is a, a no choice for a release in ego. No choice. And what do I mean by that as being beat down? That means somebody that beat you down. Somebody that made you only half of what you used to be. Maybe not even that much. Made you feel inferior. Made you feel a lot less confident in yourself. Made you feel very, very low in self-esteem and in self-love. So this releasing of the ego is not, I've changed my egoistic ways. What it is, is someone who has taken you from Virgo 
to, I don't know if I'm Virgo, I don't know who I am, I just, uh, I, I just, I'm having a hard time healing from this, obviously at the hands of a real brutal person, someone who was mentally abusive. With the Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, now there could have been a Pisces that left you feeling that you can't get yourself grounded, that you can't get yourself, your feet back on the ground, that you can't get steady again, that you're feeling all, all kind of wonky, you know? And a lot of it has to do with emotion. It all has to do with the emotions that come up within you. But you know what? You did the first thing right, and the first thing right was you worked on telling yourself the truth. That's the first step. The second step was, I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta go to some calmer waters. I, I gotta work on me. That's a huge step. Huge. I mean, God love you. Blessings to you. But there's now trying to come to terms with what has happened. Trying to find Virgo again. Pull a couple more cards. So you know what this fiery complex or climax approaches could be for the other side. If you feel that you haven't been a baby or if you haven't been kind of vulgar and mean to somebody, or what I'm kind of seeing here is the other side. crap with the chariot and the ten of cups in the reverse you know what if you plan if you're thinking maybe virgo that i can give him a second chance i got the devil here virgo drugs alcohol just being like it could be addiction to porn sexual addictions with others many many different things you know gambling couch potato a big time gamer Anything that absorbs the mind that one can get addicted to. Even there's even addiction in coming and going, returning and, and fleeing. You know? There could be addiction to it, well, I love you, and then and, and then an addiction to I, I can't take this, so it's freaking me out, and then running. It could be someone who has been doing these things for most of their life. But what I have here with the chariot, if you're thinking about returning, and I got the ten of cups in the reverse, this is not, this is not your ten of cups. This, this holds, these cups are empty. They're, they're spilled out on the ground. They're upside down. They hold no blessing. Let's keep going. The higher fence. Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, the King of Swords. Now the thing is, is that there was this this feeling that you had for this person was that the divine brought them to you. Was that you felt this great soulmate connection? Was that you thought? There was great thinking here of this is a ship I've been waiting for. This is the one. Not only that, you know, they're not rich, but, you know, we can live comfortably. We'll be happy. And I think you had some really grand slam plans. I really do. I, I think you had some wonderful plans. But you also threw the Hierophant in there. And the thing is, is that you, did, you didn't look before you leaped. You, you saw what you wanted to see. And you didn't see the pain and the suffering that this person had to offer. Not, not paying attention to those red flags. Well, these aren't red flags. These were freaking flares. These were lighting up the goddamn sky. 
I bet maybe even if you think back about it, you, know, you probably had a friend or two that said, no, don't, no, don't, don't go up with them, you know, and if you think back. So what I have here is this feeling that maybe after making love or something and laying there and talking and, and, and well, of course, they're going to say all the things that you wanted to hear. And you, you probably were just laying there and thinking, you know what, this, this is my gift from God. The universe sent me this person. No, the devil sent him. Oh, I'm sorry, I could say it the way I see it. Devil sent him. But you're something that the, the lovers in the universe <laughs> and the two of swords. <laughs> I just said it. The lovers in the universe, I just said it. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, Peric. Thank you. The lovers in the universe, God sent me this person. And the lovers, I was just saying, laying in bed, talking to each other, fulfilling each other's minds with, with wonderful and, and heartfelt and, and, and we're going to do this, we're going to do that, it's going to be wonderful and, and blather, blather, blather. And the universe, God sent this person to me. God sent them. Two sorts. Painful, painful decision that must be made. Painful. And I think you've already done two things. Two steps have been done. Now the hardest step is how to let go. And of course, the only way to do that is with time help from others with keeping yourself surrounded with positive people keeping active keeping busy the nine of pentacles and the eight of ones it's very 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 hard decision that must be made with the nine of pentacles and the eight of wands talking Communication. Communication about the Nine of Pentacles is telling yourself, that's it. I gotta make the decision. It's time for me. It's time to make me tickety boo again. It's time to go up in the head, up into the attic, and start rummaging around up there. And the things that don't serve me anymore, and the things that have made me feel less than what I am, took away my self esteem took away my confidence, took away my goddamn makeup. Come on, not, spirit's talking to someone. Took away my high heels, because I was taller than them. Took away that my, my pretty dresses. Took away, took away, took away, and it's time I go up into the attic and start freaking taking them back. Give me my goddamn makeup. Give me my high heels. Give me my pretty dresses. Give me my self-confidence. Give me my self-esteem. Give me, give me, and freaking give me, and get out of my way, and watch me work. Nine of Pentacles. Watch me freaking work. Come on. Parrot talking. Parrot. <laughs> Parrot's talking here. Come on now. Talking to somebody. Nine of Cups. Love. Seven of Cups, you got options. You got options in love. Come on. Nine of Cups. Love. Seven of Cups. Fall. Not pouring into the ground. Not what somebody had to offer you with ten cups upside down. Pouring all the blessings in the ground. But seven cups, straight up. That's what I'm going to call this. Seven of Cups, straight up. Come on. I got options in love. Not only that, it's time to find Virgo again. And not only that, it's time to take back my shit. And not only that, it's time to go upstairs and start cleaning out this freaking attic that's been holding way too much crap for way too freaking long. For what? For what? That's right. For what? 
They took and they took and they took and they took and they took me. They took my mind, they took my spirit. They took my love. They took my body, my flesh. They took my heart, my soul, my personality. They took my mind. They took and took and took. Stand up, Virgo. This is your time. Who are we dealing with here? Pisces, Gemini. Gemini. Taurus, Cancer. Scorpio, Pisces. Capricorn, Pisces again. Cancer again. Virgo, if you like the way I read, oh, if you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.